Hi YouTube, it's Kathy, and I'm here to announce the fifth round of the Queer Lit Readathon. It feels really weird not to be waving a flag just then, but I'm not at my own house because COVID. The fifth round of the Queer Lit Readathon is happening from May 31st to June 6th in your own time zone. As you might know, every round of the Queer Lit Readathon, Rogan and I want to have a guest host that is queer themselves, talk about queer books on their channel, and also captions their videos. Our guest host is actually guest hosts this month, and that is Sarah and Rebecca from The Tea Hag. I absolutely love these ladies. I've had the pleasure of hanging out with them twice at Booknet Fest the last couple of years. I'm really hoping that I get to see them this year because I was planning to like go to Rebecca's house and road trip down to Booknet Fest with them. So let's see if that's still happening. But regardless, I am just so excited that they are joining us and hosting this event. Before I go on to announcing the challenges that they helped us pick for this round, I just want to remind everyone that if you are able, it is preferred that you caption all of your TBR videos or your reading vlogs for this event. People need close captions to understand what you're saying. For instance, Rogan, my co-host, is deaf, so he will not understand what you're saying unless you caption your videos. There are also people that are hard of hearing. There are also people that speak English as a second language. Just please, if you can, caption your videos. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, this is our beautiful bingo board for this round. It will be available both on our Twitter and our Instagram. And in both cases, that's at queer underscore lit. And while I'm doing this weird leaning thing, I might as well tell you that our hashtag is hashtag Queer Lit Read. So let's go through the challenges, shall we? Our first challenge is a backlist title, so any book that hasn't come out in the last couple of years would go perfectly for this. Our second challenge, like every challenge, is totally optional, and that's to read the group book. This round we're reading This Is What It Feels Like by Rebecca Barrow. I'm not going to go into the entire synopsis, but I love the last line of the synopsis, so I'm going to read that to you. Rebecca Barrow's tender story of friendship, music, and ferocious love asks, what will you fight for if not yourself? Our next challenge is to read a book featuring queer friends. One of our best categories that we often have as a repeating category is choose your own category. So you get to pick what the category is and then let us know in your TBR. We also want you to read a book featuring a female over 40 years old. We want something with summer vibes. And because I know I absolutely love this trope, we want you to read something that is a queer sports book. We also want you to try some queer poetry as well as something that is not a coming out story. Those are very important but they're not the only queer story. We also want you to read a graphic novel, a rainbow cover, so either a cover that has the rainbow on it or is primarily one of the colors of the rainbow. We want you to read something recommended by a host. I know I personally have the A to Z of Queer Lit. I think I have six or seven parts of that video so far, so that playlist will be linked down below. We want you to read something with a bi or demi main character. We want you to read something with a disabled main character. We want you to read some nonfiction, and we want you to read something that you have as a five-star prediction. All this will be listed down below as well as the links to our social media as well as Rogan's website because that has all this information as well. If all goes according to plan, all of the hosts will be posting their TBRs on May 22nd, so watch out for that. And other than that, I just want to say have fun. If you don't want to make a bingo, don't make a bingo. If you don't want to black out the board, don't black out the board. Just read some queer books. That's all we really want you to do. I mean that, and check out our guest hosts because I love them, I love their channel, and I hope that you love it as well. That's it for now. What do you think you're going to read during this week? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. If you don't know what to talk about but want to let me know that you are here, just leave me your favorite emoji or a smiley face if you're on your keyboard. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!